In 2025, something massive is happening behind Koenigsegg's closed doors, and it's not just another upgrade. No one else can do what we're doing. If you want that, you can't get it anywhere else. Words like new engine, wipe the floor, and electric cars have started circling after a cryptic statement from the CEO himself. We never stop developing it because it gives enormous freedom to the combustion engine. No flashy launch. No teaser campaign. Just a quiet decision that could upend everything we thought we knew about the future of performance. If you think the EV race is already won, think again. Because Koenigsegg might be about to pull off the unthinkable. And no one's ready for what's coming next. The art of speed, Koenigsegg's obsession with power. From the beginning, Koenigsegg never followed trends. While the rest of the automotive world was busy chasing lap times with bloated engineering teams and badge prestige, Christian von Koenigsegg was building rockets disguised as cars out of a small factory in Angelholm, Sweden. No big marketing budgets. No legacy to coast on. Just one relentless mission. Create the fastest, most innovative machines on the planet and prove that one company could out-engineer the giants. The first car, the CC8S, was a warning shot. Then came the CCR, which briefly held the title of the world's fastest production car. But it wasn't until the Adra RS that the world really started paying attention. In 2017, it shattered the production car speed record, 277.9 miles per hour without breaking a sweat. It didn't just beat the competition, it embarrassed them. While everyone else talked traction control, Koenigsegg was out there rewriting physics. But this obsession with speed was never just about straight-line performance. Every detail, from the monocoque tub to the triplex suspension, reflected a philosophy. Everything must serve performance, and anything that doesn't goes. No fluff, no gimmicks, just raw engineering. And that's what separates Koenigsegg. It's not just about horsepower. It's about control, balance, ingenuity. Then came the Red Jura, a car that didn't even have a traditional gearbox. Koenigsegg called it Direct Drive, a revolutionary setup that eliminated the need for gear changes entirely. The result? Seamless acceleration with hybrid torque that could turn your insides to soup. And yet, even with three electric motors and a twin-turbo V8 under the hood, it somehow felt elegant like the world's fastest grand piano. Of course, none of this would matter without the man behind it. Christian isn't your typical CEO. He's part inventor, part speed freak, part philosopher. He once said, why do we build fast cars? Because we can, but that doesn't mean it's reckless. There's always purpose behind the madness. He's obsessed with thermodynamics, power to weight ratios, and how to extract more energy from less fuel. He's also one of the few people who can sketch out an engine idea on a napkin and then watch it come alive six months later. Behind every Koenigsegg model is a years-long process of trial, failure, reinvention, and finally perfection. And once it hits perfection, they start again. Because in their world, good enough means nothing. It's why they handcraft components other manufacturers outsource. Why they invent their own carbon fiber technology. Why they build a 3D printer just to make titanium exhaust tips. Every shortcut avoided is a second shaved off the track. That mindset is what turned Koenigsegg from a boutique supercar maker into a name that makes Ferrari and Bugatti lose sleep. And while the industry is now charging headfirst into an electric future, Koenigsegg has remained cautious. Not reluctant, just methodical. Because Christian knows something that many don't. Speed alone doesn't win the war. Innovation does. And sometimes the fastest car isn't the one that hits 300 miles per hour on paper, but the one that dares to ask. What if we did things completely differently? Koenigsegg is always chasing that question. And lately, it seems they've been working on an answer that's unlike anything we've seen before. One that might not just raise the bar, but flip the entire game on its head. But we'll get to that. Right now, all you need to know is this. Koenigsegg is up to something again. Enter the Gym Era, family car, track monster. When Koenigsegg announced the Gym Era, people thought it was a prank. A four-seater Grand Tourer from the same brand that builds cars with fighter jet doors and speeds that scare NASA? It didn't make sense until it did. Because Koenigsegg wasn't just making a family car. 
They were making the family car, one that could fit four adults comfortably, carry luggage, and still out-accelerate a Bugatti Chiron. The gem era wasn't a compromise, it was a dare. This wasn't a car built for balance. It was built for contradiction. Luxury meets lunacy. Practicality fused with power. And it all started under the skin. Instead of going with a big V12 or a bulky EV setup, Koenigsegg introduced the world to the tiny friendly giant, or TFG for short. A 2.0 L three-cylinder engine that alone turned heads. But what dropped Jaws was what it could do. 600 horsepower, thanks to twin turbos and camless free valve tech. No cams, no belts, just software controlling every valve in real time. The engine could shut off cylinders mid-drive or breathe differently, depending on how hard you pushed it. It wasn't just small, it was smart and terrifyingly efficient. Of course, this wasn't just about internal combustion. Koenigsegg knew the future leaned electric, so they added three motors, one for each rear wheel and one on the crankshaft. Together with the TFG, the Gem Era produced up to 1,700 horsepower. It could run purely electric, purely gas, or mix both for brutal acceleration. And despite being a plug-in hybrid, it didn't care much about your range anxiety. It offered over 600 miles of total range with a full tank and charge. That Stockholm to Paris in one go, without slowing down. Then came the design. At first glance, it looked like a Koenigsegg. Sleek, low, aggressive. But then you notice the massive clamshell doors. No B-pillar. The whole side of the car opened like a sci-fi airlock, revealing a cabin that felt more like a Scandinavian lounge than a hypercar. For individual bucket seats. Full infotainment for front and back. Cup holders, yes actual cup holders in a Koenigsegg. The absurdity wasn't lost on anyone. What made it work, though, was the control. Despite its size and weight, the Gem Era wasn't a boat. It handled like a car half its size, thanks to active rear-wheel steering, torque vectoring, and a carbon monocoque chassis. It was still a Koenigsegg at heart. Sharp. Responsive. Alive. And while other manufacturers were still trying to figure out how to make electric SUVs handle like sports cars, Koenigsegg had already made a four-seater that could drift around corners and still seat grandma in the back. But, as always with Koenigsegg, there's more going on than meets the eye. Even the original Gemera spec wasn't the final form. Whispers from the factory hinted at a version with even more power. A different engine. Something that would change the entire platform. And in 2023, they confirmed it, offering the hot V8 from the Jesco as an option. That meant 2,300 horsepower in a family car. No, seriously. It wasn't about chasing EVs. It was about staying ahead of them. And while the world kept waiting for Koenigsegg to go fully electric, 